Good morning. Welcome to the morning prayer. We will begin on page 80, as usual. And today we commemorate um, St. Chad of Mercia, who is one of my name saints, which is He has a good story, which is relieving. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, he is now, and it will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Almost. Page 81. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. The Venite, page 82. And come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In the hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before God our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of the pasture and the sheep of hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, oh, let us adore him. Our psalms this morning begin with Psalm 9, found on page 593. We will chant responsibly by whole verse. I invite you to chant on either the odd or the even numbered verses. I will give thanks to you, O God, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your marvelous words. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing to your name, O Most High. When my enemies are driven back, they will stumble and perish at your presence. For you have maintained my right and my cause. You sit upon your throne, judging the right. You have rebuked the ungodly and destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. As for the enemy, they are finished 
in perpetual ruin. Their cities plowed under, the memory of them perished. But the Lord is enthroned forever. He has set up a throne for judgment. It is he who rules the world with righteousness. He judges the peoples with equity. The Lord will be a refuge for the oppressed. A refuge in time of trouble. Those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you never forsake those who seek you, O Lord. Sing praise to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Proclaim to the peoples the things she has done. The avenger of blood will remember them. You will not forget the cry of the afflicted. Have pity on me, O Lord. See the misery I suffer from those who hate me. O you who lift me up from the gate of death. So that I may tell of all your praises and rejoice in your salvation. In the gates of the city of Zion. The ungodly have fallen into the pit they dug. And in the snare they sat was their own foot caught. The Lord is known by his acts of justice. The wicked are trapped in the works of their own hands. The wicked shall be given over to the grave. And also all the peoples that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. And the hope of the poor shall not perish forever. Rise up, O Lord. Let not the ungodly have the upper hand. Let them be judged before you. Put fear upon them, O Lord. Let the ungodly know that they are but mortal. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 10, page 594. Why do you stand so far off, O Lord, and hide yourself in time of trouble? The wicked arrogantly persecute the poor, but they are trapped in the schemes they have devised. The wicked boast of their heart's desire, and the covetous curse and revile the Lord. The wicked are so proud that they care not for God. Their only thought is, God does not matter. Their ways are devious at all times. Your judgments are far above out of their sight. They defile their enemies. They say in their heart, I shall not be shaken. No harm shall happen to me ever. Their mouth is full of cursing, deceit, and oppression. Under their tongue are mischief and wrong. They lurk in ambush in public squares. 
and in secret places they murder the innocent. They spy out the helpless. They lie in wait like a lion in a covert. They lie in wait to seize upon the lowly. They seize the lowly and drag them away and end it. The innocent are broken and humbled before them. The helpless fall before their power. They say in their heart, God has forgotten. He hides his face, he will never notice. Rise up, O Lord, lift up your hand, O God. Do not forget the afflicted. Why should the wicked revile God? Why should they say in their heart, you do not care? Surely you behold trouble and misery. You seek it and take it into your own hand. The helpless commit themselves to you. For you are the helper of orphans. Break the power of the wicked and evil. Search out their wickedness until you find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. The ungodly shall perish from his land. The Lord will hear the desire of the humble. You will strengthen their heart and your ears shall hear. To give justice to the orphan and the press. So that mere mortals may strike terror no more. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 11, page 596. In the Lord have I taken refuge. How then can you say to me, fly away like a bird to the hilltop, for see how the wicked bend the bow and fit their arrows to the string to shoot from ambush at the true of heart when the foundations are being destroyed. What can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. Your eyes behold the inhabited world. The piercing eye weighs our work. The Lord weighs the righteous as well as the wicked. But those who delight in violence, he abhors. Upon the wicked shall rain coals of fire and burning sulfur. A scorching wind shall be their lot. For the Lord is righteous. He delights in righteous deeds. And the just shall see his face. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. After the first lesson, we will respond with Canticle 19 on page 94.
A reading from the book of Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Go and proclaim in the hearing of Jerusalem, thus says the Lord. I remember the devotion of your youth, your love as a bride, how you followed me in the wilderness, in a land not sown. Israel was holy to the Lord, the first fruits of his harvest. All who ate of it were held guilty. Disaster came upon them, says the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Thus says the Lord, What wrong did your ancestors find in me, that they went far from me, and went after worthless things, and became worthless themselves? They did not say, Where is the Lord, who brought us up from the land of Egypt, who led us in the wilderness, in a land of deserts and pits, in a land of drought and deep darkness, in a land that no one passes through, where no one lives. I brought you into a plentiful land to eat its fruits and its good things, but when you entered and defiled my land and made my heritage an abomination. The priests did not say, Where is the Lord? Those who handled the law did not know me. The rulers transgressed against me. The prophets prophesied by Baal and went after things that do not profit. Therefore, once more, I accuse you, says the Lord, and I accuse your children's children. Cross to the coasts of Cyprus and look. Send to Gedar and examine with care. See if there has ever been such a thing. Has a nation changed its gods, even though they are no gods? But my people have changed their glory for something that does not profit. Be appalled, O heavens, at this. Be shocked, be utterly desolate, says the Lord, for my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living water, and dug out cisterns for themselves, cracked cisterns that can hold no water. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 19, page 94. Ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage more and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. After the second lesson, we will respond with Canticle 16 on page 92. A reading from Paul's letter to the Romans. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for salvation to everyone who has faith, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For in it, the righteousness of God is revealed through faith for faith, 
as it is written, the one who is righteous will live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and wickedness of those who by their wickedness suppress the truth. For what can be known about God is plain to them, because God has shown it to them. Ever since the creation of the world, his eternal power and divine nature, invisible though they are, have been understood and seen through the things he has made. So they are without excuse. For though they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him, but they became futile in their thinking and their senseless minds were darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became fools and they exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling a mortal human being or birds or four-footed animals or reptiles. Therefore, God gave them up in the lusts of their hearts to impurity, to the degrading of their bodies among themselves because they exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worship and serve the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 16, page 92. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of all that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. Promise to show mercy to our forebears and to remember her holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give the people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Page 97. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. On earth as in heaven. And give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Suffrages be. 
Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let's pray. O God, whose glory it is always to have mercy, be gracious to all who have gone astray from your ways, and bring them again with penitent hearts and steadfast faith to embrace and hold fast the unchangeable truth of your word. Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives in, with you in the Holy Spirit, lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, for, for the peace of the church, your servant Chad relinquished cheerfully the honors that had been thrust upon him, only to be rewarded with equal responsibility. Keep us, we pray, from thinking of ourselves more highly than we ought to think, and ready at all times to step aside for others, that the cause of Christ may be advanced. Through the one who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. If you are joining us on YouTube, please type your prayers in the live chat and we will offer them aloud. Give thanks for successful transfer of Charlotte to her new we have facility for an increasing improvement. Pray for baby Hoyt, Margaret, Will, and Christina. Pray for Matt. Pray for all those on our Benedictine community prayer list. Especially Sue and Drew. Pray for those on our parish prayer list. Especially this end. We pray for all Benedictine canons in the United States and Canada, especially Dan in Sioux Falls, Brother Paul and Father Jack in Victoria. We continue our prayers for those who are suffering in the face of this pandemic and pray for those who are at work seeking to restore health through vaccine distribution and through caring for those who are ill. Pray for all those who grieve today. Let us pray the general thanksgiving on page 101. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. 
but above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.